7 Best High Yield Investments for 2023, Least to Most Risky But before we start, please support us by pressing like and subscribe buttons, also turn on the bell notification to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. There's no denying that investing is one of the best ways to build wealth. But with rising inflation and fears of an impending recession, many investors are wondering how to choose safe investments with high returns. There are countless ways to invest, no matter your age, income, or time horizon, from low-risk investments like money market accounts to higher-risk investments like stocks or real estate. Every investment comes with different levels of risk, so understanding your personal risk tolerance is crucial to creating a portfolio that works in your favor. That's where our comprehensive guide to high-yield investments comes into play. We've analyzed and pared down the 17 best high-yield investments to consider, and listed them from least to most risky, including High-yield savings accounts Certificates of deposit I-bonds Money market accounts Government bonds Municipal bonds Corporate bonds Number 1 High-yield savings accounts Best 4 Investors with short-term financial goals An illustrated pyramid breaks down different types of investments by risk level, all in the name of choosing the best high-yield investment. A high-yield savings account is similar to a traditional savings account, but it can pay 20 to 25 times the national average of a standard savings account. As far as safe high-yield investments go, this is certainly one of the safest, since deposits are insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation FDIC, meaning in the event of the bank going under, your funds are protected. High-yield savings accounts also allow you to access cash when you need it, with a limit of 6 withdrawals per month. Number 2. Certificates of Deposit Best 4. Risk-averse investors who need money at a specific future date. A certificate of deposit, CD, is a type of savings account that earns interest on a deposit for a fixed period of time, typically at a higher rate than a standard savings account. CDs are structured by term length, or how long the money must remain in the account before you can withdraw it without penalty. Term lengths can range from a few months to 5 or 10 years. CDs are on the safer end of the risk spectrum, and deposits are FDIC insured. That said, your earning potential is bound by the rise and fall of interest rates. Since your money is locked in for the term length, you could miss out on increased earning potential when interest rates rise. In this case, it makes sense to go with a short-term CD so you can reinvest with higher interest rates in the future. Number 3. Series I Bonds Best 4. Risk-averse investors who want protection and stability in their portfolio, especially during inflation. Series I bonds are a low-risk savings product issued by the U.S. Treasury. They earn interest for up to 30 years at a fixed rate and are inflation-adjusted, meaning in addition to the base interest rate, the Treasury also pays an inflation rate twice per year. That additional rate is based on the rate of inflation. Investors can purchase up to $10,000 of Series I bonds annually, and will earn interest for up to 30 years. If you cash the bond within 1-5 to five years, known as early redemption, you'll have to forfeit the last 3 months interest payments. You can cash the bond after 5 years penalty-free. Number 4. Money Market Accounts Best 4. Risk-Averse Investors Who Need Access to Cash a money market account is another type of federally insured savings account that earns interest. They're almost identical to a CD or high-yield savings account, except they offer more ways to withdraw money, although you're still limited to 6 withdrawals a month. Money market accounts are best for those seeking a low-risk investment that still offers access to cash when you need it. Like a high-yield savings account, they work well as a short-term savings vehicle for near-term purchases like a car or for building up an emergency fund. Number 5. Government Bonds Best 4. Risk-averse investors seeking fixed income and less volatility in their portfolio. 
An illustrated chart breaks down the three types of bond investments, a helpful tool for choosing the best high-yield bonds. When you purchase a government bond, you're essentially loaning the government money, which is used for things like paying off US debt or funding infrastructure spending, for example. When a bond is issued, the investor is paid a certain amount of interest on an annual basis, making them a fixed income security. When the bond term ends, the principal amount of the bond is repaid to the investor. Government bonds are some of the least risky investments out there, since they're backed by the full faith and credit of the US government. In turn, the returns aren't nearly as high as other investments like stocks. Number 6. Municipal Bonds Best for risk-averse investors who want to preserve their portfolio while generating fixed income. Municipal bonds, or munis, are issued by cities, counties, and other state government entities in order to finance public works projects like building roads or schools. Contrary to corporate or federal government bonds, interest paid on municipal bonds are often tax-free, but not always. Municipal bonds can be structured in different ways, and there are two main categories. General Obligation Bonds GOs These are bonds issued by government entities but not backed by revenue from a specific project. They might be backed by property taxes or from general funds. Revenue Bonds These are bonds supported by revenue from a specific project, like a highway or toll road. They repay investors using the income generated by that project. Number 7. Corporate Bonds Best for conservative investors who want a slightly higher yield than government bonds. Corporate bonds are similar to government bonds, except they're issued by a company instead of a government. Companies may issue bonds as a way to fund operations, and they fall into two categories. Investment-grade bonds are typically issued by larger companies with a longer history of dependable earnings, which is why they're seen as a higher-grade investment, there's less risk because they're more likely to be repaid. Junk bonds are issued by companies who lack a track record of stable profitability. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.